on this brand new edition of Vire, we talk about everything President Trump with his high turnover rate. All new Vire starts right now. Everyone, welcome to this brand new edition of Vire. I'm your host as always, Kendra Dix. Glad you can join us here about Donald Trump's turnover. Yes, the Washington turnover rate or whatever you want to call it. Why do the president now have the highest turnover rate in the history of the White House? Glad you can join us. Let's get started. Let's go to this video package for more details. Take a look. Together, we will make America great again. USA! 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 The enthusiasm, you can feel it out here. These folks are fired up and excited. USA! President Trump has wasted very little time doing exactly what he said he would do once he got to Washington. We just officially terminated TPP. We're going to put a lot of people back to work. The United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. We're here today to cut the red tape of regulation. This is a president that's making good on his promises to the American people, and it's refreshing. The nomination of Neil M. Gorsuch is confirmed. The United States Navy launched dozens of Tomahawk missiles on targets in Syria tonight. American leadership is back in the world. Terrorists do not worship God. They worship death. Drive them out. ISIS is out of Iraq. They're being pushed out of Syria because Donald Trump took the actions that Obama wouldn't. Right now, chaos and anger on full display over President Donald Trump's executive order on immigration. This executive order was mean-spirited and un-American. I noticed uh, Chuck Schumer yesterday with fake tears. I'm going to ask him who is his acting coach. I am also calling on this Congress to repeal and replace Obamacare. That was a fiery debate coming to a stunning conclusion, the Senate rejecting the skinny Obamacare repeal. The problem here was that they just couldn't get the votes. President Trump has fired FBI Director James Comey. This director of the FBI should have been fired, has been fired, and asked for it himself. Robert Mueller, who's the former FBI director, has been named special counsel for Russia investigation. The entire thing has been a witch hunt, and uh, there is no collusion between myself and the Russians. Zero. The eyes are 51. The nays are 48. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act is passed. The message to the hardworking taxpayers of America is your tax relief is on its way. This is Armageddon. More than 125 companies, big and small in this country, have announced plans to either give a bonus or hike the wages for their employers. It's so pathetic. The crumbs that they are giving. The really big win for America is from Apple. They're going to put $350 billion into the American economy in the next five years. It's the economy, stupid. Did you ever hear that one? White supremacists swarmed Charlottesville. The results were deadly. We condemn this egregious display of hatred and violence on many sides. The very dishonest media, they don't want to report that I spoke out forcefully against hate. It's all fake news. Fake news. Fake news. I'm changing it from fake news, though. You're very fake news. Well, the NFL anthem controversy is showing no signs of stopping on Sunday. Nearly two dozen players refused to stand for the national anthem. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say he's fired? President Trump, tripling and quadrupling down on it, has a sense of where people stand. Stand for your anthem, take your protest elsewhere. Analysts claim North Korea's recent launches show its missiles can reach the United States. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. The message is very clear. Don't test this White House Pyongyang. President Trump becoming the first sitting president to visit one of Judaism's holiest sites, the Western Wall. It is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. 
explosive new book on the Trump administration. Steve Bannon called a 2016 meeting, quote, treasonous and unpatriotic. The president is firing back. He said Steve Bannon, when he was fired, he not only lost his job, he lost his mind. I'm not going to waste my time. We're talking about a book that's complete fantasy. We've been talking about DACA for a long time. I should be a bill of love. According to a source, the president said, quote, why are we having all these people from blank hole countries come here? We did it, folks. We broke through that 25,000 mark. We're doing one record after another. Stocks are on fire. The Dow making history once again. We're closing above 26,000 for the first time ever. Unemployment at a 17-year low for African Americans. Unemployment is at its lowest level since the early 1970s. We have entered into a period of optimism in this country that we haven't seen in a very, very long time. Now that his path to the White House becomes so clear, in his victory over Hillary Rodham Clinton to win the presidency and becomes the nation's 45th president. Well, let's get started with the inauguration. It was January 20, 2017. Trump was sworn in office and believed he had the largest audience in the attendance in the United States. Now look at this compared to what he had now and during that time and during Obama's. So. You kind of you had to be the judge of that and see what makes sense because the numbers don't lie. <laughs> the numbers do not lie. Well, the president was trying to get adjusted to the job and learning how Washington works, different from New York City, because he comes from a background New York City where it's Wall Street, Broadway, entertainment, you name it, New York got it. Even the Statue of Liberty <laughs> to become the commander in chief. And Trump on Twitter said that there was a witch hunt on him from the FBI. And at the time, FBI Director James Coleman dismissed that, saying that the FBI was not doing a witch hunt. The FBI was just doing its job. <laughs> and Trump didn't like that. And Trump did the impossible. Take a look. Fired FBI director yes, he fired James, James Comey. Comey. He fired him on the, the spot. FBI James Comey was fired, attending something in California, and, and James Comey found out on Twitter and on a telephone call that he was fired. And Donald Trump used that same persona he did in The Apprentice to bring into reality with Washington, firing the man. And the man told the man that he his job was secure and safe, and job wasn't. <laughs> All right, Com um, that didn't stop there. With Sean Spicer, the president's press secretary, the first press secretary, who said about the numbers, about the attendance record, he didn't stay long. He got fired as well. Yikes, yikes. I get some people love to work for the president and work for the White House since it's in steam building with a long lineage of history and the history continues to mount and mount but many people are saying Trump is tarnishing in it and some are saying Trump is flourishing so you have a 50-50 divided nation split between two parties between two different philosophies and between people of different races creed origins sexual um, orientations you name it that's why well, we still, come on. you still have to wonder, is there still more to come and stuff with that? Well, that is our first part of the Trump turnover rate. Come back next week where we'll have more with Trump's, more of his turnover rate with other people. Uh, you just won't believe it. Well, this has been Viral. I'm Kendrick Dick saying so long, and we'll see you next time here on Viral.